planet from the sun. It looks like that planet has a hula hoop around it. What makes Saturn special is that it's a gas planet with rings around it. We can see them from Earth with a telescope. Wow, they're so bright and so big. Three of the other planets in our solar system, Uranus, Jupiter, and Neptune, also have rings, but not as bright and big as Saturn's. What are the rings made of? Ice and rock. Scientists believe that moons, which once surrounded Saturn, broke into pieces when they were hit by asteroids. They look like sparkly dust. Some of the pieces are as small as pencil points. Others are bigger than houses or elephants. Wow, amazing. And from Earth, Saturn's rings really do look just like my hula hoop. Time to get spinning. Find the matching numbers. One, five, four, seven, five, five, five plus five equals ten. Match four, one. Seven, seven, seven plus seven equals fourteen. You found a match. One, four, 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 four plus four equals eight. You found a match. One. One, one plus one equals two. You found a match. Black hole. Black holes happen in many places in the universe. That looks like a giant spinning top. What you're seeing is the way a black hole pulls in anything that gets close to it. It reminds me of water going down a drain, except instead of water, it's dust, rocks, meteors. How does a black hole pull things in? Through gravity. Gravity is when one thing pulls another towards its center. A black hole can form when a star is dying out and collapses into itself. This creates a massive gravitational pull. A black hole's gravity is so strong that it even pulls in light. Imagine a star collapsing. Can the Earth be pulled into a black hole? You've got nothing to worry about, Willow. Our Earth is nowhere near a black hole. Phew! I was about to pack my bag and head for another galaxy. <laughs> now, let's test your memory. Find a matching pair. <laughs> Mars. 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 Match. Mars. Titan. Mercury. Nebula. Mars. 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 You found a match. Nebula. Nebula. Nebula, you found a match. Titan, Mercury, Titan, 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 match. Merc, Mercury, 
Mercury, you found a match. Titan. Titan is one of the moons of Saturn. Saturn has a moon? It has over 50 moons, Corby. A moon is a natural object that goes around another object in space, usually a planet. Titan is Saturn's biggest moon. And it's the only moon that we know of with an atmosphere. An atmos? What? An atmosphere. That's a layer of gas. Doesn't Earth have a layer of gas, too? It does. That's what makes it a planet that we can live on. So if an atmosphere helps things live on Earth, can things live on Titan, too? Well, Gorby, a space probe that landed on Titan found rivers, mountains, and deserts. But no life. Wow! One day, I'm going on a mission to find life on a moon. Let's spell. Mercury. Mm, mm. E. R. C. C. U. Y. Mercury. Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun. So many stars. Wait a minute. What's that? It looks like a red dot. That's the planet Mars. It's red because it's covered in iron oxide or rust. I wonder what I'd find on Mars. What's that? That's a Mars rover. These are robots which take photographs so we can see the landscape of Mars. Mars isn't just red. It's brown, wool, gold, and green. <gasps> and look at that deep canyon. That's Valles Marineris, the deepest canyon in the solar system. And that's one super high mountain. It's called Olympus Mons, the largest volcano in the solar system. It's three times the height of Mount Everest on Earth. Well, Mars certainly holds a few records in the solar system. So long, Mars Almighty. Goodbye. Let's write Mars. M A R S M A R S Mars Uranus. Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun in our solar system. That's the planet Uranus, Gorby. It's turned over to one side. We should tell someone. Uranus is tilted, Gorby, so its rings are vertical. That means they are going from up to down instead of side to side. And the planet spins on its side. Oh, okay, but how did that happen? Scientists think Uranus might have been knocked onto its side by many impacts with space objects. <laughs> Look, 
It has moons! Uranus has at least 27 moons orbiting it and 13 rings. It's a very busy planet. It's what's called an ice giant, Gorby. That means it's made up of a slushy, icy liquid with rock and gas in the center. If Uranus is an ice giant, does that mean it's bigger than Earth? Uranus is four times the size of Earth. So, if the Earth was the size of an orange, Uranus would be the size of a, hmm, basketball. That's a good way to imagine it, Corby. I've got an idea. If I lean over, then Uranus looks upright. <laughs> now, let's test your memory. Find a matching pair. Moon Tides Tides are the rise and fall of oceans, seas, rivers, and lakes. Here's a beach at high tide, and here's the same beach at low tide. Do you notice anything different, Lily? Hey, uh, where did the sea go? Did someone take the plug out? <laughs> when the water appears higher and covers more of the land, that's high tide. And when the water appears lower and covers less of the land, that's low tide. The water's gone. But I wanted to build a sand castle. Can we do anything to change the tides? I'm afraid not. The tides are made by the moon. The moon? How? Let me show you. Gravity is what keeps us here on the ground. So because of gravity, she dropped to the ground. The moon has gravity too. As the moon goes around the Earth, its gravity pulls at our water. When you're near the moon, the sea bulges towards it and makes the water rise. High tide! And when you're somewhere on Earth where there is no rise, it's... Low tide! So it's all down to the moon if I can build a sand castle or not. Thanks, moon! May! Now, let's tap this word. <laughs> May. Find the sight word. <laughs> May. <laughs> May. <laughs> May. <laughs> May. <laughs> Comet. Comets are objects that fly around space. Wow! What's that? That's a comet, Gorby. Comets are made of rock, gas, and ice. And they have tails blowing behind them. <laughs> Do the tails wag when they're happy? <laughs> no, not that kind of tail. Comet's tails are made when pieces of the comet break off and are blown away. Hi, Mr. Comet. Where do you think Comet? Um, outer space? Correct. After our solar system was formed, scientists think there were lots of leftover pieces. Some of those pieces are now comets. That's Halley's Comet. It flies past the Earth every 75 years. See you in 75 years! Let's write Comet. C. M E T 
C O M E T Comet Constellations The night sky is full of groups of stars called constellations. Many stars. Hey, if I join those ones, I can make a circle. You made a constellation, Chester. A constellation is a group of stars people joined up to make different shapes. Just like playing connect the dots. The constellations have names. This one is called Orion the Hunter. Try connecting the stars with your finger. Oh, yeah! Now I see him. Oh, look! That one's a dog! It is. That's Canis Major, or the greater dog. The dog's eye is one of the brightest stars in the sky, called Sirius. Many constellations have a story about their shapes to help you remember them. With that many stars in the sky, there must be lots of stories. I'm going to make up my own, all about Chester. The greatest deer. Let's spell Saturn A T T T R N A U Saturn. Dwarf planets. Some planets in our solar system are actually dwarf planets. Those are the system. Do you know their names, Chester? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. And what about these? Hmm. They look like planets, too, but I've never seen them before. Those are called dwarf planets. They're just like the other planets in our solar system, in that they only orbit the sun and have a rounded shape. Look at those asteroids! This is the main difference between the other eight planets and the dwarf planets. The dwarf planets haven't cleared away the space debris around them. Debris is space objects, like asteroids, ice, and rocks. Hey, that's Pluto! Pluto is the largest dwarf planet. And it's got debris around it. So, Pluto is a dwarf planet. Pluto is the largest dwarf planet. The others are Eris, Makemake, Haumea, and Ceres. So, Chester, do you think you'll be able to learn their... Pluto, Eris, Make Make, Haumea, and Ceres. <laughs> Names? <laughs> I'm a fast learner. Eat. Now, let's tap. Lunar Eclipse Lunar eclipses involve the Earth, the Sun, and the Moon. What is that? That's a lunar eclipse, Chester. I've read about eclipses. I'll get my telescope. You don't need one. You can usually see a lunar eclipse just by looking into the sky. What exactly is a lunar Eclipse. The moon looks like it's shining, but it doesn't have any light of its own. It's light that's reflected from the sun. Can you see what's happening? The Earth is making a shadow. 
As the Earth orbits the sun, it sometimes gets in between the sun and the moon and blocks out the sunlight. That's called the lunar eclipse. I wish the other polos could see it. Don't worry, Chester. Lunar eclipses happen up to three times a year. Phew! That's good! Next time, I'll make sure we all see it together. Let's write Uranus. U R A N U S U R A N U S Uranus Rocket ship. Rocket ships are powerful machines that can be used to fly to space. Rockets are just amazing. I wonder how rockets work. The Chinese invented rockets a long time ago, Willow. But those rockets were in the form of fireworks. So how do these rockets fly? Rockets are filled with fuel. The fuel burns and turns into gas. It is downwards and is forced out of the bottom of the rocket. And that pushes the rocket upwards? It does, with enough force to fly up into space. Wow, must have been scary for the first astronauts. Some of the first astronauts in space were monkeys and apes. <laughs> Monkey nuts! So do you want to fly into space, Willow? It's on my to-do list, but I also want to be the one that builds the rocket ship. Let's spell. Sounds. S. 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 Oh. 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 Uh. Uh. You. D sounds Asteroid Asteroids are rocks floating in space. <gasps> I've never seen an asteroid before. Asteroids come in all shapes and sizes. Some as small as a hippo. Like me! But where do they come from? Scientists think asteroids are just leftover pieces from when the solar system was first created. It's getting closer! When an asteroid enters the Earth's atmosphere, it's called a meteor. And when a meteor gets even closer, it burns up, leaving a trail of bright light, which people call a shooting star. Oh, look, Gorby. There's one now. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. If you see a shooting star, you should always make a wish. Okay. What did you wish for, Gorby? To see another one. Look, my wish came true. Fly. Now, let's tap. The moon. A moon is an object in space. A moon is something that orbits another object in space, usually a planet. What does orbit mean? Orbit means goes around. Our 
our moon is called the moon, and it goes around our planet Earth. Does it get dizzy? Don't think so, Marco. It takes 30 days for our moon to do one orbit. How did it get there? A large object, maybe another planet or maybe space material, bumped into the Earth. Watch out, Earth! Lots of pieces flew off, including one huge chunk, which scientists think formed our moon. So, the moon could be a big chunk of the Earth? Could be. Wow! Moon-tastic! Now, let's test your memory. Find the items that begin with... Venus! Venus is a planet in our solar system, almost exactly the same size as our planet Earth. Which planet is that? That's Venus. It's the second planet from the sun in our solar system. If it's closer to the sun, it must be hot, right? It is, Willow. Great! I'm looking for somewhere hot to go on vacation. Somewhere with sandy beaches and crystal clear seas. Sorry, Willow. Venus is a rocky planet covered in volcanoes. Oh. It's way too hot for polos to survive. It's the hottest planet in our solar system. Why isn't Mercury hotter? It's closer to the sun. Venus is hotter because the gases on Venus hold in the heat. While you can't go to Venus, you can still see it from Earth. Venus is one of the brightest objects in the night sky. It looks like Venus is way too hot for a vacation. But I know a planet that's almost exactly the same size and just the right temperature. Which planet is that, Willow? Planet Earth! Where I can stare at Venus in the night sky. Now, let's test your memory. Find a... Earth. This is planet Earth, the third planet from the sun. It's where we live. That's right, Marco. Luckily for us, planet Earth has everything we need like water, plants, and animals. The Earth is the only one of the eight planets in our solar system that has enough water and enough air for us to breathe. But why? All other planets are either too close to the sun. For example, Mercury is... Too hot? True. Or they are too far away. So Jupiter is... Too cold. And too gassy for life on Earth. So our planet Earth is in just the right place. Yes. It's the third planet orbiting our own star, the sun. <gasps> Air. And water. Thanks, planet Earth. Find the matching numbers. Milky Way. The Milky Way is one of the billions of galaxies in the universe. Willow, did you know that we live in the Milky Way? Huh? I thought we lived on Earth. We Earth is part of the galaxy called the Milky Way. So the Earth is part of our sun's solar system and our sun is one of the stars in the Milky Way? Our sun is one of over 200 billion stars in the dusty, gassy Milky Way. 200 billion? This is what the Milky Way looks like. It looks flat. 
yet. The Milky Way is called a spiral galaxy. It looks like a flat spinning pinwheel, doesn't it? <laughs> Scientists know that thousands of those stars have planets orbiting them, just as our planet Earth orbits our sun. So the Milky Way is full of billions of stars and us. Huh, we are all part of the biggest spinning pinwheel ever. Let's write Mercury. M. E. R. C. U. R. Y. M. E. R. C. U. R. Y. Mercury. Mercury. Mercury, the closest planet to the sun. If you look at our solar system, you can see eight planets orbiting the sun. They look like spinning balls. They do, Chester. There's our Earth. Oh, yeah. And the planet nearest to the sun is Mercury. Correct. It's the smallest of the planets. Chester. Do you know how many days there are in an Earth year? I do. About 365. Yes. That's the time it takes for the Earth to go round the Sun. Oh, Mercury goes round quicker. Well noticed. That's because its path around the Sun is much shorter. It only takes 88 Earth days for Mercury to orbit the Sun. Whoa. <laughs> I guess we should have a Mercury New Year's party every 88 days, then. Party time! Let's spell sounds. N S S S S D D uh, you. Oh, uh. oh, sounds. Planets with rings. Half the planets in our solar system have rings around them. <laughs> What are you doing, Gorby? I'm playing planets. I'm pretending to be Saturn. See? Saturn's got rings around it, and I'm... Saturn has the largest group of rings. What are the rings made of? Mostly dust and rock. Like Saturn, Jupiter is made of gas. Jupiter's got rings, too! Uranus has 13 rings that run vertically from top to bottom rather than across from side to side like the other planets. Neptune is an ice giant and has six rings. Hey, I just realized the gas and the ice planets in our solar system are the ones that also have rings. Nash wants to play planets now. Come on, Nash. You can be Jupiter with your rubber rings, and I'll be Saturn with mine. Oh, wow! Now let's test your memory. Find the items that begin with the The International Space Station. 
The International Space Station circles the Earth 16 times a day. Whoa, it's huge! It's actually the largest satellite ever sent into space. And it's bigger than a jumbo jet. How did it get there? Rockets piece by piece. And then it was put together like a big space jigsaw. Exactly. That must have taken ages. Luckily, Canada, the United States, Russia, Japan, the UK, and lots of other countries worked together to help build it. Great teamwork! But what did they use the International Space Station for? Scientists do special experiments there, which they can't do on Earth. And that helps them learn new things. I'd love to do experiments in outer space. Now, let's test your memory. Find a matching pair. Neptune! Neptune is the eighth planet from the Sun in our solar system. That's the planet Neptune! I'm reading about it in my book. Neptune is the furthest planet from the Sun in our solar system. It's so far that it took scientists some time to spot it. But Neptune is very big. Nearly four times bigger than the Earth. It looks so peaceful. I could go there to read my book! You might get a bit distracted on Neptune, Chester. Why? It's a very cold planet with strong winds and raging storms. It's what's called an ice giant. Ice giant? That means it's made of rock and ice with slushy, icy liquid on the surface. Look! Neptune's got spots! What do you think they are, Chester? My book says the dark spots on Neptune are actually storms! Hmm. Yep. Definitely easier to read all about Neptune than read on Neptune. Let's learn how to play! Get ready to read! Silly lizard! Don't do that! Can you remember the missing word? Tap here to listen again. Silly lizard. Don't do that. Tap this button to practice. Silly lizard. Don't do that. Try swiping to find the missing word. Lizard. Way to go! Get ready to read! I like to shake. Can you remember the missing word? Let's practice! Solar Eclipse! A solar eclipse happens about every 18 months, and you can only see it from certain parts of the Earth. What a beautiful bright day! It's sunny now, Willow, but it's about to turn much darker. It's the night time. You're about to see a solar eclipse. Oh! Is that when the moon passes in front of the sun? It is. As the moon orbits the Earth, sometimes the moon gets between the Earth and the sun, which blocks the sun's light. I can't wait to see this! Then you're going to need some special eclipse glasses. You should never look directly at the sun. Back in a second! Good work, Willow. Hey! It's already darker! The eclipse has started! Solar eclipses only last a few minutes, and some, called partial eclipses, 
don't block out all of the sun. But this is a total solar eclipse. It's amazing. As the moon continues in its orbit, the light from the sun is no longer blocked. You know, that felt like the shortest night ever. Feeding time! Mm. Match the shapes to get the food. Star Nebula. Star nebulae are found far away in outer space. Wow, what a beautiful painting. That's not a painting, Willow. It's a star nebula, deep out in space. Star nebulas are where the stars are formed. This is called the Crab Nebula. Oh, is it called crab because it looks like a crab? It is. <laughs> looks more like a butterfly to me. And that one's like a horse's head. That's its name, Horsehead Nebula. Nebulae are made up of gigantic clouds of dust and gas. Wow. That. Jupiter. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun. Welcome to the eight planets in our solar system. This one is the biggest of them all. It's Jupiter, and it's super massive. You could fit 1,300 Earths into Jupiter, Gorby. It also has the biggest moon, Ganymede and the largest storm, called the Great Red Spot. The storm has been going for 300 years. Whoa! 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 What's also special about Jupiter is that it has a solid core, and the rest of it is made up of gas. Jupiter and Saturn are both gas planets. Gas planets? <laughs> They could have a competition to see who's the smelliest. P.U. Good job, Jupiter. The biggest in everything. Find the matching numbers. Ceres is the closest dwarf planet to Earth. Which planet is that? That's what's known as a dwarf planet, Gorby. It's called Ceres. Ceres is the smallest dwarf planet that we know of in our solar system. I thought there were only eight planets. Are there other dwarf planets too? Yes, and you probably know the name of the most famous one. Hmm, it's Pluto. Yes, Pluto's one of the dwarf planets. In between Jupiter and Mars, there's an asteroid belt. That's where you can find Ceres. Wow, so many asteroids. Because Ceres is a dwarf planet, it still has a lot of things in its path. It must be annoying to keep bashing into things all the time. Hey, watch out! Ceres is up there right now, a dwarf planet, bumming its way through space. Let's write Ceres. C. E. <laughs> 
R E S C E R E S series. Sound in space. What can you hear in outer space? Here on Earth, there's a lot of noise. Yeah, so many different sounds. But have you ever wondered what sounds there are out in space? It's noisy, right? Stars exploding, asteroids crashing into each other. Bash, crash. Let's see and hear, shall we? Here we are, in our galaxy, the Milky Way. Wait, where's all the noise? In space, we can't hear the sounds, Marco. How can that be? On Earth, sounds can travel by vibrating air. That's how noise is mostly made. Oh, I get it. There's no air in outer space, so... Without the air... Sounds can't travel. Except you do hear... What, Marco? The sound of silence. Black. Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun. And it has a hula hoop around it. What makes Saturn special is that it's a gas planet with rings around it. We can see them from Earth with a telescope. Wow, they're so bright and so big. Yep, three of the other planets in our solar system, Uranus, Jupiter, and Neptune, also have rings, but not as bright and big as Saturn's. What are the rings made of? Ice and rock. Scientists believe that moons, which once surrounded Saturn, broke into pieces when they were hit by asteroids. They look like sparkly dust. Some of the pieces are as small as pencil points. Others are bigger than houses or elephants. Wow, amazing. And from Earth, Saturn's rings really do look just like my hula hoop. Time to get spinning. Let's write Saturn. Black hole. Black holes happen in many places in the universe. That looks like a giant spinning top. What you're seeing is the way a black hole pulls in anything that gets close to it. It reminds me of water going down a drain, except instead of water, it's dust, rocks, meteors. How does a black hole pull things in? Through gravity. Gravity is when one thing pulls another towards its center. A black hole can form when a star is dying out and collapses into itself. This creates a massive gravitational pull. A black hole's gravity is so strong that it even pulls in light. Imagine a star collapsing. Um, can the Earth be pulled into a black hole? You've got nothing to worry about, Willow. Our Earth is nowhere near a black hole. Phew! I was about to pack my bag and head for another galaxy! <laughs> Find the matching numbers. Titan! Titan is one of the moons of Saturn. Moon? 
It has over 50 moons, Corby. A moon is a natural object that goes around another object in space, usually a planet. Venus! Venus is a planet in our solar system, almost exactly the same size as our planet Earth. Eclipse. Lunar eclipses involve the